Welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Glenn Drake. Here's what's happening in the territory today. A bank robbery, of course, happened in daylight on St. Croix earlier today. News Channel gets the details. Unbelievable news this afternoon. Just 20 minutes ago, starting here at the bank of St. Croix. What we have learned so far in its embryonic stages, two suspects 20 minutes ago, one dressed in black, the other allegedly dressed in police uniform, just robbed the Bank of St. Croix. Right now you're seeing a lot of detectives and police officials at the scene. Like I said, this is just in its first stages. Well now, we are behind uh, Peter's Rest, uh, kind of perpendicular from Costulus, if you will. That, uh, well, this police vehicle just blocked it, but you did see uh, some footage of the white Ford Focus. Now we understand that that same car was taken from a customer instead of bank. Now, this is what we think, and we got to tell you that uh, Chief Bent and the police investigators are all here the scene. They're waiting for forensics. This is just ongoing within the hour that, let me keep you updated, two men came into Bank of St. Croix, one allegedly dressed in black camouflage, the next allegedly as a police officer. This is what we know so far. Um, they robbed the bank. They have no idea how much money was taken. They took uh, a white Ford Focus uh, that was from a customer inside the bank. This is what we think right now. And uh, right in back of me uh, here, in back of this police vehicle, is the white Ford Focus. We are waiting for forensic experts to come to the scene to see what they can get. So we're looking for two individuals. To date. Two hours ago, 12 o'clock, two men came into this area. One in a black outfit was the gunman. man. Another one was a Police officer of the VIPD inside here. It's been. People were then tied up in this area. Allegedly, apparently, the suspect who had the police uniform on dropped his gun. He dropped his gun on the floor. He picked his gun up then and fired one shot inside of this bank, here the bank of St. Croix. Okay. Uh, apparently, some money was taken out of here. So, a white Ford Focus. That that you see News Channel 8 chased down with the VIPD just in that area in back of Peter's Rest, right in, inside of one of those malls. What we believe happened then, the suspects left that Ford Focus, got in another vehicle, and fled to the area. Been talking to Chief Menta. He is very hopeful. Um, and positive that we will have these suspects in custody perhaps by the end of the day or in the very near future. Uh, this is what we know so far is that uh, these people were traumatized inside of here. There were also children inside of this bank. Um, Chief Benta definitely concerned uh, because of the possibility of copycats. They don't want this to happen again. Again, high noon, bank robbery right here in the middle of St. Croix. So again, we are in shock here on the island. Of course, if we have any more information with this breaking story, we will give it to you uh, this afternoon. As of right now, Bank of St. Croix here, Peter's Rest, locked down, shot fired inside of the bank, money taken out, white Ford Focus taken from one of the customers inside of the bank, registered to Avis in um, uh, the St. Croix airport. Focus found, the Ford Focus found in that area, Peter's Rest, just a short while ago. You see file footage of that. News Channel 8 is all over the story. It's still breaking, still in stages. If you know anything about this robbery, which is a federal offense, marshals are also here on the scene. You need to call 778 2211 or 911. Here in Peter's Rest, I'm Wes Small from News Channel 8. VIPD News, a confiscated weapon taken off the street yesterday in St. Thomas. We all recall in St. Thomas. The community in St. Thomas was stunned when they learned that the police picked up a mini Ruger rifle with an 18-inch barrel seized by police during an arrest of two males on Monday. They also confiscated 30 rounds of ammunition and marijuana. Now, the arrest stemmed from a 911 call of shots being fired in the area of Berg's home. Upon arrival, the scene, the police found two males standing by a vehicle. However, when the individual saw the police, they attempted to flee. Police stopped the vehicle, observed the weapon in the back seat, further searched the vehicle.
vehicle produced a quantity of individually bagged marijuana. Now that rifle is a no-nonsense style rifle, almost an assault type rifle. Arrested on charges of constructive possession of a weapon were Hasmi Pratt of Berg's home, Kashfi George of Bavoni, unable to post bail, $25,000 they were remanded uh, to the Bureau of Corrections. Also, uh, St. Thomas police were investigating a first degree assault that occurred Sunday, July 14th in the Thomasville area. Initial police reports say individuals, two of them, were standing in an area talking when a silver Malibu drove up and occupants fired at them. The 32-year-old male victim stuck and a struck in the left thigh. Another victim, 28-year-old male, sustained multiple gunshot wounds to both legs. The pair were treated at the Snyder Regional Hospital. And Melody Rames also reports an accident of a police vehicle that involved an uh, accident. Tuesday, officers sustained minor lacerations to body pains, the driver of the other vehicle unharmed. Here's what happened on Tuesday. A police patrol unit was pursuing what was believed to be a stolen vehicle involved in an accident with a small-sized truck. The police unit was heading in a westerly direction, Moravian Highway, the Synergy Niski Center. When the accident occurred, collision caused the police vehicle to careen across the street and tip and hit a utility pole. Police vehicle occupied by the police sergeant uh, who received minor lacerations to the face and experiencing body pains. He was later transported to the Royal Lester Snyder Hospital uh, Medical Center, treated and released the police unit received uh, substantial damage, so the driver of the small truck did not need to be hospitalized, but the traffic investigation unit is conducting investigation into this incident. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel 8.